You can see the flag now very well. I have noticed the flag of so-called Kosovo uh, behind you. For me, that flag and for the people of Serbia, that so-called flag is a direct, direct insult. You can see the flag now very well. Because it's very important for me in Serbia that you see the Kosovo flag every single day. Okay, but uh, would you be would you be so kind to put it down? No, I put Why? it up. Pictures. No, the flag just fell. Yes, yes, yes. The Kosovo so-called flag just fell down. I will put no. it up again. No, no, I will no. put leave it, it up leave again. It, leave it, leave it. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother. We no, Gunter, come back. Oh. <laughs> Ok, ljudi, dobrodošli na kanal Mario Zna, dobrodošli u Bunke. Kao što ste videli u najevi, danas u gostima je, sad možete vi da pizdite, da se ljutite, jeste Gunter Fjulinger ili Ginter ili Ginter, pizdat ćemo ga tačno kako se izgovara njegovo ime. Ono što je bitno jeste da znate da u ovom intervju čućete svašta i ostanite tu, Gledajte, sledi ono što niste mogli nigde drugo da čujete. Od sada krećemo na engleskom, imat ćete prevod na dnu videa. Eto, uvod je napravljen, we have made an intro, let's start from the scratch. Gunter, you are a NATO lobbyist and you are also an economist, am I right? Yeah, my profession is to be economist. I'm a development consultant. And yeah. now in these years, I'm very active on NATO enlargement because I want to support the countries where I worked in Ukraine, in Kosovo, in Albania, Bosnia. And so I'm now also in Austria because I'm an Austrian. And I decided to make an Austrian public petition for Austria to join NATO. I have noticed the, 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 the flag of so-called Kosovo uh, behind you. And you 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 asked me should i take it down and i said no you can leave it if if your if your opinion i i don't want to change your opinions and uh, and the people that have the same opinion as you i don't want to change it and and you, you are free to think whatever you want it's democracy am i right uh, absolutely to have the wishes that you have uh, but for me that flag and for the people of Serbia, that so-called flag is a direct, direct insult. Uh, but no, uh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we, we, we will. We, we we are, will I don't want to insult anybody. We are in 2023. It's time for peace. Yeah, it's, it's okay. We will come to to peace, and uh, we will come to the plan and ideas how we should make peace, or is uh, one kind of uh, the one kind of peace good or bad for people have different views on peace and how to get to that peace. Some some people want to go to the peace through wars. Some want to go through to peace from peace. Okay. Um, let's start from the brief history because uh, if if we don't talk about history, that we're we not going to talk about ancient Greeks or Romans, but last hundred years, for an example. Our two countries were at war a uh, hundred years ago and a little bit more and uh, I want to ask you what's your stand firstly what's your stand on on, on the first world war maybe uh, some of your viewers also see me on Twitter because I have the Twitter channel as well and I have tweeted many times my apologies my heartfelt apologies and I have also apologized in the European Parliament in, in uh, January this year for the crimes of Austria against the Serb people mm -hmm. and for starting the First World War. It was a terrible mistake. It was terrible crimes. And I'm deeply sorry for that. And also for the time of Austrian colonialism against the Serb people in the 19th century. And these are all terrible, terrible things. And we need to start a process between Serbia and Austria to document the crimes better, to have more knowledge about the crimes, and to come to some reconciliation between our nations. It's not only the Serbia. The Ser Serbia as a country was not uh, the only victim of 
Austrian Empire. The whole Balkans was yes. in that process, and uh, I see I see that uh, you're honest, but uh, let's be honest that uh, Serbian brought some kind of freedom and democracy for this part of Europe before Austrian emperors. I'm talking about Gavrilo Princip because I'm seeing you, I see you tweeting and sharing your views and you're always calling for dismantle of some country. You're calling for my, <laughs> your, your, every country in the world. I, I, I have just saw that you're calling for dismantle of India. Yes. Yes. Okay. We will get to India and Trudeau, but uh, Gavrilo Princip, I think that Austrians should also praise uh, Gavrilo for bringing some kind of democracy to your country. I'm against terrorism and violence uh, dismantling. And I'm very much opposing a myth of uh, terrorism because we but should have peaceful but... means uh, to uh, settle political conflicts. Okay, so but all these warships of Gavrilo Princip, I oppose. Okay, but uh, Guter, you're, you're talking about peaceful dismantles or peaceful peaceful uh, se separations of uh, one part of the country of India, I don't know, Serbia, I don't, I don't know, uh, Czechoslovakia, but uh, you're talking about peace, but you're calling for Maidan. You're calling for Maidan. Is, was Maidan a peaceful demonstration? Maidan, Maidan in, that's the place of the Ukrainian Ukraine, yes. Where, yeah. And uh, it is a peaceful protest. It, was it peaceful started protest. very much at a peaceful protest in November 2013 by and journalists like you, and it continued by civil uh, activists. Yeah, and uh, many students they went to the streets, similar like the students went in '92 in Belgrade, in '96, '97 in Belgrade, and so often the people of uh, Serbia have protested against Milosevic government. So I they respect were... that. Okay, 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 and great. The but... same happened. Yeah. The same happened in Maidan. The same people were going on the street. Who really made violence was Putin, Russia, the FSB, and of course Yanukovych, who from the rooftops of the buildings above Kiev yeah, has shot in the innocent people of uh, the civil the civilians. Yeah. This okay, that, victims, that's your yeah. that, that's so your that's your, that's that's the your truth, view. Yeah. That, that's the mainstream. That's the, that's that's the mainstream mainstream proof that you that that you have. You have other people that are saying something totally different than than, than no. you. I know that but they you were can victims. establish the truth. <laughs> but you, you can you, establish you, the historic truth. Uh, history is written by victors. Am I right? The victory, the victors write are writing history. So we had Slobodan Milosevic, but nobody shoot that people from the roof. Anyway, uh, it was anyway it was, anyway, it was violence. Zabolic. He killed uh, uh, Zubrilic. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he killed anyway, so many people. He tried to shoot uh, Vuk Drasovic uh, six times in Budva. But Vuk I, I, I think that I think that Vuk Drasovic <laughs> tried to shoot himself a few times. So, you know, let, let's not let's not talk about uh, agents uh, from 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 Serbia. We are not going to give them any 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 room here in in our talk. But the violence, the violence, we are seeing violence all across Europe. Uh, you come from the European Union. No, we live in a peaceful continent. Uh, it's very peaceful when I see eight migrants rape a 13-year-old German girl. It is very peaceful. It is not peaceful uh, at all. That's violence of uh, criminal activity of uh, criminals. Yeah, of criminals yeah, from the, the Middle East. Of criminals from the Middle East. But 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 okay, it's also another story. When we come, to, let's go back to history. So you told me yes. about First World War. You told me about terrorism of Gavrilo Princip, which brought democracy to 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 to, to this Not land. Exactly. I, don't, I don't know the Austria. It was hard hard type of democracy. Uh, let's jump. Serbia to... was not a real democracy back then. I would like to remind you: you killed your king. Yeah. Who what killed? kind of democracy? 19, 1903. Okay. What kind You're of right. democracy is it? Your your You're military right. officer organized by Russia, goes into the palace and puts, uh, kills the king and the queen and throws them out of the window. What yeah, kind yeah. of democracy is that? You're talking about Obrenovich and 
in, yes. in, in the Karadžolic, that, that's between Serbian dynasties. We are okay, talking but... here about uh, a colonist, an emperor who is German or Austrian. I don't know, how do you call the Austrians, call themselves Austrians or Germans? Are you German or Austrian? Yeah, we are Austrians. Austrians. Okay, so during the World War II, your grandparents or parents, were they Germans or Austrians? Look, we, it was like this, that Austria 1938 was annexed by Germany. Okay. As you very well know. And at that moment, we were also German citizens because uh, we were annexed. Like, similar like Crimea was annexed now by Russia. You can compare quite similar. Did Austrians but, uh, protest? A lot of Austrians went directly in the concentration camp. Yeah? You know, Austria was a divided country, like Serbia is today, like um, other countries in the history, because one third of the Austrians were Nazi, one third were social democrat or communist, and one third was uh, Catholic Christian Democrats. Yeah? But and Nazis the moment ruled. Hitler took the power, yeah, with violence. Yeah, yes, with, with violence. But I, 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 from the history, talking with talking with the historians and listening to historians from the West, I didn't see that Austria uh, had any type of uh, any type of demonstrations, mass demonstrations uh, against Nazi rule. Firstly, the same Nazi party started from Austria. The, the, Hitler was Austrian, no? Am I right? He was born in Austria, but he was serving military in the First World War in the German army. Okay, and so he lost okay. his citizenship and he later became then a secret service agent of the military of Germany. And he had no connections with Austria, but family connections. Uh, and, so and, then... and, and Austria is not in NATO because of World War II or some other kind of history? That, that your country has, because uh, Austria is not reason, part of NATO. The reason is the Cold War, because mm -hmm. in the, after the end of the war, the front came in the middle of Germany and in the middle of Austria and in Belgrade, you know. It was like this, uh, that the Americans and the Soviets have met. And mm -hmm. Germany was divided four countries and Ger Austria was divided four countries. And in the year 55, uh, when uh, the Soviets have lost in Korea and when Stalin died, and they made the offer for neutrality, uh, for unity to Germany and to Austria. Okay. Austria has accepted it and Germany not. So Germany stayed divided but joined NATO, Western Germany, and Austria became a neutral country but a united one. And that's were... the history why we're still okay. neutral. Okay, today. thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, where were your parents or grandparents during the World War, World War II? By my grandparents. Or your my parents? My, yeah, it's not my my grandparents, yeah. They mm -hmm. were in uh, they were soldiers in the German army. So they were the part of uh, Nazi regime. Now, yeah, that's a good question. You know, you can always pin every German down that his grandparents had a role. I'm just asking. Were... I'm ju just asking. I, I'm not. I'm not telling that they were. I'm just asking. Were they? Yes, they were um, low level uh, sub uh, sergeant like Feldwebel in the German armies, both of them. Hmm. So they were not prosecuted after the World War II? No. No? Uh, because they were not looked into or they were just forgotten? Look, basically, in the history of my family, if that's a big topic here for the Serbian media, because you want to make me very famous as a personality, you know... You are so very famous both... right now, uh, okay. Mr. Fullinger. You are very famous... Without me, you're okay. already famous, and people in Serbia have have all the rights to not not to like you because of your opinions and your tweeting and and, and your political political views or engagement. But uh, uh, it should not mean that we should not talk. Absolutely, I'm also actually a big friend of Serbia. It's not any country I have worked more in than any other countries. I was working since '92. I'm active in Serbia, supporting always the opposition. And so in '96, I was supporting the opposition. In '99, I was in 2000, I was supporting the opposition. So I have a 30 years of unsuccessful story because I always support European Serbia. 
but you unfortunately your guys are killing the people eh? and harassing the opposition because you unfortunately a Russian occupied dictatorship. Eh? Uh, who is, uh, wait, 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 wait. That's who, the is, story. who is killing? Who is killing? Who is killing? Who? I'm born in year ne 88, 1988. I, I have 35 years. I was a kid when uh, when demonstrations happening the when Milosevic Slovenia failed. The Croatians. Okay, when Milosevic failed, the I was Bosnians. a kid. Yes. And uh, now uh, I have went. I have went through. I have went through the European Union talks, and we should go to EU, and we should all live happily because European Union is free. Everything is great. Everything is. In, And as, as I was getting older, I, I start to, 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 to see that uh, that was not, and this is not a true story. I'm not... Uh, It is the true story. Do you know the country like Croatia? Yeah. It's already in the Euro, in OECD. It has uh, the membership of NATO and the EU. And what, so does, that, it what does that mean? What does, the, what does that mean? Naya, it's possible to join. But yeah, it's possible to join, but I have host... A lot of creations in my podcast, and yeah. they say different things. <laughs> they say they say the EU sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the EU the EU is not is uh, is not what they were told it was. That but EU. you know, there is no paradise in the world, yeah, that you can join, and it's amazing. Belarus is paradise. Which one? Belarus, Belarus, Belarus. <laughs> have you been there? <laughs> yeah, I have been in this. Okay. Yes, you, 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 see, well. you see that it's I a... have mustache. You see him as... <laughs> But <laughs> I'm you know, joking. <laughs> honestly, it's one of the worst dictatorships in the world, yeah? And the no, people no, live in completely no. poverty. And no, it's a very no, sad no. place. <laughs> well, I can count. I can count few countries of EU that are not living very well. From Greece to Italy. I, I, I don't see any prosperity in, in, in those countries. In uh, Greece, not... you don't see prosperity. In Greece. Greece. They, are they still in bankruptcy or the, the, the EU paid oh, the debts? You should go to holiday for Greece again and see the payouts and the prosperity and the wealth accumulated in Greece. Yeah, and I see them working in toilets in uh, in, in in Amsterdam. I see a lot of young Greek the people Greeks working yeah, in toilets. Yeah, working in toilets in Amsterdam. I was in Amsterdam. <laughs> Everywhere I look, a Greek, a Greek guy. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Greece. I'm, I'm from, I'm from oh, oh, Thessaloniki. Or oh, say, I, I say, oh, okay, great. Okay, uh, 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 you are calling for. Let's go to this dismantle. You, you are, you are, you, you have offended our people. You, you have. Uh, You have written Why? or told you, you, you have told to media. I don't know it was was it media, but media or writing about it that uh, you are you, you told that you want to replace. But you, but uh, it will be a good thing to replace a monument of a killed li killed girl, little girl that was killed, but na with NATO bombs. With the monument of Madeleine Albright. Did yes, you very really? good idea. Whoa. I'm completely. Okay, I, I have to ask you. I have to ask you one question, and then we are going to proceed. Uh, are you really? And be please be honest with me. After you say that, if after you say such a thing, I have to ask you: uh, Are you uh, are you mentally capable of talking? <laughs> You know, <laughs> do you have any problems? But you talk to me, yeah? so I can. Yeah, talk. I talk to you. I, I talk with a lot of people. I, I talk to people okay, which are saying that aliens are going to come tomorrow to to Earth. It's not a problem. No, But I have first to ask of you. All, Madeleine Albright was a very important American politician for the freedom and liberation of all Balkan countries because <laughs> she has been putting this whole level of effort into the liberation, into the defense of. Uh, Uh, and in the toppling of Milosevic. So she has liberated uh, Serbia from the Milosevic regime. Every no, no, Serb no, no, should no, be no, forever no, no. grateful okay. for her because she was instrumental to topple your dictatorship. So But, she has liberated Serbia. So it is okay. So it is okay. So it is okay to kill civilians, children for democracy. Do you want to say that? Package case. No, I don't say that, you know. 
but I say that it was legitimate and it was justified to bomb Belgrade in 99 to stop the genocide uh, your leadership and your army and your militia has committed against the Kosovo Albanians. Okay, because you are every now, government you're, you're, has the necessity to defend its people. You're you now talking about something that didn't happen. You're we talking about something that didn't happen. So it was okay. justified to bomb uh, Belgrade. And if there were victims, which there were, that's very sad. The American precision bombing have tried to avoid as many victims, but also in deliberation... With cluster bombs. They tried to Nazi, avoid the victims with cluster bombs. Also in deliberation of Nazi Germany on Vienna, <laughs> there were a lot of children dying. And do you see me protesting against America because there were children dying in the bombing in 44 Vienna? But Obviously, Nazi Germany killed only... 6 million Jews, Slavs and Gypsy Roma yes. people. Six and, million. And you, you have to live hundreds and thousands live, of Muslims have to in live Bosnia and Kosovo. Ten lives. Ten lives every German man has to live to repay the evil that your government ten in lives, history did. I agree. Did, 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 you cannot compare ten lives, every six million has to live forever to repent the sins of Milosevic. But you cannot compare that kind yes, of Yes, I can. You're just smaller. But it was but it was legitimate. The Albanian terrorists What? were legitimate targets. No. <laughs> you call, you call killing children legitimate? No, no, no. no I'm very sad for you, the children. Are you I'm a very, man? Listen, who, listen. I know many, I'm very many sad, Albanian I'm very sad children for the children. Possible, but they were... we had precision army, as you said, no. the NATO. They, we had really, really precision army. But you sometimes, as NATO killed, as you said, as NATO killed children in Serbia. And you no. said, I'm very sad because of that. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for the Albanian children. I really, But you really, started. Really you sorry. started. That's very good, Mario. You're a good But person. We, I like we it. Didn't, Mario, you're we a good didn't start. We didn't, have a listen, listen. The people want to live together. Uh, uh, no, the normal people. Nobody wants to live together. You have, you, have, you have terrorists in Kosovo and Mitochia right terrorists. now. No But you have the part Kosovo. of you have the part you have the part of the population, not all of them, but you have the part of population in Austria, which are extremists. Am I right? No. <laughs> How you have far right Ooh. extremists, you have far left extremists, you have anti. These are the friends of Vucic. <laughs> Who is friends of Vucic? The Antifa. extremist in Austria. Mr. I, I see. I see that Mr. Vucic Strake. is the best. Vucic is best friend of Alex Soros. It's possible. I don't know that. It's one. not possible. It's not possible. They are holding hands in the middle of Belgrade, walking together. Alex okay. Soros, Alex Soros, George Soros. What what are we talking about? The George Soros is the main funder of Antifa and left wing extremists. So how can Vucic Honestly, be right? I don't think that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's your opinion. I cannot refute that because I have no involvement with Mr. Soros whatsoever. Well, it's good. It's good. Don't go, don't talk to Soros. Soros money is evil. No, just, I, I, I don't know where do you find... Actually, your... I disagree on that one, because <laughs> I think he has done a lot for democracy in Eastern Europe. And okay. contrary to the extreme right wing often claims, yeah, that in reality, he has done a lot of good things for, for Eastern Europe between democratization. And I think he has positive motives. Okay, uh, that's your opinion on, on Soros. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go. Go back to Serbia. You, you, you were traveling. You were coming here, as you said, the 90s. You were coming here yes. a few years ago, and then 92, after, 96, 99. You were here. You were here okay. the last time. When you were when when were you in Serbia for the last time? My Almost. last. Uh, I had yeah. four visits during the war because I went in March on the 24th of March, uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. to celebrate liberation of uh, Belgrade in uh, 99, but also to protest against uh, the uh, non-help, uh, this kind of rejection of closing the airspace. That was my reason. And then I went from the south in April, where the beer stopped me. I went from Macedonia, and they interrogated me for two hours because I wanted to protest against the mistreatment of the Albanians in Preševo and in Vranje and in uh, Bujanovac. And then I went in the summer to support the Bosnians in Sanjak. And then I went again on the death uh, anniversary of Cincic, who I met three times. I'm very proud of him. And he is a great hero. And he was the best uh, Serb uh, uh, prime minister. And he was killed 12th of March. 
and I went again on the 12th of March and uh, that was my four visits. That was also the last time I was in Serbia. But Gigi, Gigi, Gigi was a German pupil. He was a he 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 was a Marxist in Germany, uh, as I okay. as I remember. So you you were friend. Do, do you are you a communist? No, I'm a center right wing person, conservative, Christian Democrat, liberal, yeah, but, whatever but you want to call. It. You are proud that you were my... you you are proud that you were friend with a mm-hmm. communist. No, it was like this that in the nineties, uh, the Democratic Party. The students of the Democratic Party, because I was the president of EDS, of the European Democrat Students, and the students of the Democratic Party, of the Demokratska Sranska, they came to us because we were very interested in democracy in Serbia. So we supported them. But then, Germans, uh, Mr. Chum- Germans, you are always interested in Balkans. You are always interested in Balkans. You want to bring peace to Balkans, democracy yes, in Balkans. Yes, I'm actually seems, Austrian, but seems, we are very seems, interested in the Balkans. It seems, it seems that you are not doing a good job because on, on for no, hundreds no, no. of years for hundreds of years you are trying to bring your kind of politics in balkans but the balkan people just say no no we don't we want have slovenia you. in nato and euro and the eu we have croatia in nato eu and euro we have montenegro in nato we have macedonia in nato we have albania in nato we are very good and you think huh? you think you, and you, next you, we have kosovo in nato and we will have bosnia in nato and then we will build a big wall around Serbia. Oh my God! No. Knock it. Oh my God! <laughs> oh what my are God! We, what are we going to do with that wall? And then okay. we have. Okay. Now the Super question. My dad. Now the question. Super now the question dad. for you. Uh, I remember from the history the wall, uh, the ma- making of lists of people who are not uh, not good for the other kind of people. Building walls was a uh, uh, a thing that started in year 38, 39 in the last century. So you are now calling for building a wall around Serbia, making Obviously a concentration not camp. No, so you, no, no. As you uh, know no, very no. What is building a wall around a, Serbia? A, a, building a ghetto. A, you want a to build political a political wall because I'm a peace activist, and of course that's a provocation. I don't want to build an expensive wall. I want to just make it clear to the Serb people who are watching that what you are doing is completely wrong. You are misled by Vucic and by the Russian elite. You are occupied. Hey, hey, hey. Should, now should we I have say, to bring say, everybody to the EU and NATO, and then hopefully somebody will wake up in Serbia and understand that you were losing 20 years yeah, under Russian occupation and that the European offer is much better. And if you no, need no. provocation, I'm ready to say for a wall. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I don't want to build a billion euro wall, obviously. And oh, I don't want to hurt. But you can have. Serbia listen, if you because I'm a friend a... of Serbia, I'm not but, a Serbo Marats. I'm a friend but, of Serbia, of European you, Serbia. I'm a friend of Austria, Serbia. and I call for the dismantle of Austria. I'm a friend of Austria, and I call for the initiative to build a monument of Gavrilo Princip in center <laughs> of Vienna. Okay, you can is do it, that. It's a free country, okay? but we will not build it. But I am going to bring it. Okay, good. I will you build. I have a, a friend petition. who is making monuments for the cemetery, and he is going to make a little small, maybe bigger Gavrilo Princip monument. And we come to the Emperor Franz the First, and we take him down and put Gavrilo Princip. Is that okay? You can ask and call for that. It's no. It's okay but because we ask, have freedom you ask of for that? speech in Austria. Do you do you do you ask or are you tweeting? <laughs> Calling for dismantle of Serbia, calling for Maidan, yeah. calling for Serbia is already no. dismantled, by the way, because uh, Yugoslavia no, no, is dismantled, not. and Kosovo is independent country since uh, the February 2008, as you know very well, and you should recognize it. And then Kosovo and Serbia can join NATO, the European Union. Serbia can adopt the euro, and all Serbs will live much better, and everybody will be united in the European Union and NATO. It's but perfect should, future. Okay, I well, let's talk Serbia. logic. Let's let's talk logic. Uh, why should we separate so later we can live together? Yeah, because you are separated already because uh, you have committed genocide. We had to intervene. No, then they, Kosovo you're, you're was talk- declaring independence. We have recognized it. Do you so have, it's the do you reality. have the doc- Hello, do Serbia. Have- the reality. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Wake up. Uh, it's Mr. 2023. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Do you do you know that 
Do you know that if you are telling that Serbia committed a genocide, you have to have a, 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 a basic proof of, of that a document? You that go to Srebrenica. I was there last year. Have you been to Srebrenica already? Yes, I was. My mother is a yeah. Muslim. My father is Serbian. Okay, good. Oh, that what? Uh, the cat, cat brought your tongue? Sorry? I I I, I just good. said that I'm you from know. the mixed marriage. I just said that I'm from the mixed marriage, and you were like, "What? What? No, no, what is, no. What, what did you, you can say? be whatever you are. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm I'm not going to be you whatever be Muslim, I want to be. You can be Buddhist. I am you dead. can be in Europe. Listen, we have religious Buddha. freedom. It's just the problem that you in Serbia under Milosevic, you killed Muslims simply because they were Muslims. We in Serbia, and you killed so many of them, and you are not repenting. Because I Serbia. apologize for the past, Mario. I apologize for the past of Austria. Hundred years and ago. You, where is your apology for the genocide in Bosnia and in Kosovo? But you are comparing genocide of six million Jewish and Slav people with uh, how many victims? I didn't compare the sizes, of course, much bigger of what the German crimes were. Because also Yugoslavia is a much smaller country. <laughs> and of course, you had a different context in the 90s. But still, it's a terrible crime. You cannot say, ah, oh, we just killed 100,000 people. It's oh. not the same. We never killed 100,000 people. Serbia, Serbia country didn't ne never killed 100,000 people. That's a lie. Absolutely, you killed more than 100,000 people. No. Significantly maybe maybe 100,000 Austrians. Maybe in the World War I. <laughs> maybe in the World War I. But, 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 That's a long but time man, it's a terrible crime. When I traveled to yes. Bosnia, when I traveled to Bosnia and Herzegovina, meeting with Serbs, Croatians, Muslims, or Bosniaks, I talk with all the people. You know, I, I don't have in my, in my, in my being, I don't have uh, the thing that I think you have, uh, and that that thing that I don't have, it's uh, is hatred. No, I have and no I hate. Think that you I'm are, not a Serbo Marats. I'm not a Serbo Marats. But you, you are talk. You, you talk no, like I Serbo talk for peace. You are hanging on your. You have on your wall uh, a the, flag, the, the of flag a tribe, of freedom of a goat fucking tribe. The tribe that are no. make. Yes, they are. Don't use the foul language, because otherwise we have to stop it here. Because if you insult on that level, then we cannot have a conversation. Yeah? Okay, okay. If you, so, if you, if because you, if I can also say the Serbs are goat fuckers, yeah? if you want to have that language on your show. You're, you're, you're using you a you are learning. Serbia, Serbia, you are learning from Serbians. You are goat fuckers? Huh? Mario said that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> hey, but okay, I'm, I, I, I'm I, sorry, for, I'm sorry for that language. I'm sorry for that language, but... but uh, uh, we can say uh, we, we uh, let's let's get to that 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 flag is a representation of some kind of tribe. For me, no, that's a tribe, the state Indian and the tribe of some... Kosovo. No, that, Five... that's the flag of tribe. It's for the Serbs as well. This no, dies for, for the Serbs. Serbs. No, this it's not for the, Serbs. for the Serbs. No, it's not for the Serbs. Yes, it's for, it's for the Albanians, the Serbs, the Bosnians, and the Turks, and the Gorani, and the Montenegrinians. And the Serbs, so because every Serb in Kosovo lives good, lives no. well. No, yeah, every every, every other protected. every other weekend, every other weekend we can beating up the Serbs, shooting at no, Serbian but children. Nobody is beaten in good? Serbia. This is proper uh, in Kosovo. This is uh, propaganda. No, it's not propaganda. When I see a children who were shot last year, no, children. that was that was absolutely. I'm not talking a about Vucic. incident. Guter, I, I'm not that. I'm not talking about Vucic. Uh, Vucic people from the from the north of Kosovo and Metohia. I'm talking about children. Children are, are not in Vucic organization or should I call that mafia or anything else. I'm talking about children and children cannot be yes. a legitimate target. But how did that the happen? Children live very good. The Serb oh, children, I see the very Turkish good. children, they go they outside live very good and the Uchek accuse them. In no, Hunter, Hunter, you're not right. I'm, try, I'm, I'm going to try through all this video to change your mind. <laughs> That's my idea. I'm going to change your mind. I, I hope that we are going to sit together, not this online stuff. One time when I come to Vienna to start I'm the initiative of Babylon. Welcome. You are welcome here in Thank Vienna. You. We have about half a million of uh, Serbs and Bosnians here. And uh, you are very welcome to come here. We are peaceful people. We are for free speech, also for bizarre views. Everybody can say you can make an online petition for Gabrielo Princip. But we yes. will not change. And I also will not change. And I call okay, Serbia but... to treat your minorities better because you treat the Bosnians in Sanchak badly. That's how, outrageous. How can you, you say that when I travel? 
I go to in, Novi Pazar every battery. other weekend. People are living great. They have more money than Austrians. Where? In Novi Pazar. In Novi Pazar? In Novi Pazar, man. You should yeah, see I that. was there last year and you mistreated the Bosnian so badly. But who, mis who mistreated the Bosnian so badly? They have, the they have more money than in Belgrade. No. Yes, they have because they are organized. You have a lot of people who are they're holding together. You know, they're holding together and they're working together. Turkey, Aus uh, uh, Novi Pazar, Austria, Switzerland. They have th this kind of... They have good business there. Yeah, because you, know, you force them for immigration and then the people work in reality in Switzerland and in Austria and send money back. Yeah? So that's a normal situation for a country where you mistreat your uh, the, your minorities. That's why I always say either you transform into a federal state like Austria or dismantlement of Serbia might be a really good idea for the region. Yeah, you're yeah? talking. You're, you're Maybe talking they live much better then. When you, when you're talking about dismantle of Serbia, you're talking about uh, uh, the 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 agreement from uh, San Stefan. Uh, it was it, it was in San Stefan. It was uh, 200, 300 years ago, where you you show on Twitter the map of Serbia dismantled. Uh, I don't know how many countries did you made of from from Serbia. You had Vojvodina split up. You had Sanjak or Oraška split up. You had the south, the north, the, the east, the west. You you destroyed Serbia in your in your uh, uh, mind. Basically, no, I liberated the Serb people. From let's the liberate Austria. I see, Gunter, that in Austria, the the right wing political parties are on the rise. Am I right? Because of the Serb voters. Because Vucic tells them to vote for Kiki. Oh, so you have problem with Serbian people in Austria. Oh, my God. I hope there is not going to be another crystal night. No, don't worry. But what we should do, we should make a test for all Serbs in Austria if they really believe in the Austrian constitution, in European values, and if they are supporting human rights. And once they are supporting Russia and genocide... When I ask you about rise of the far-right or right nationalists in in Austria, mm -hmm. in a political way, and you have said to me uh, that the part of that groups are Serbians. Yes, unfortunately, many of the people in the so-called uh, extreme right or in the nationalist party, it's not an extreme right party in the sense of Nazis, but the populist right of Mr. Kikl today populist. and Mr. Strache, and they were absolutely of Serbian descent, yeah, because they mix the same kind of anti-Islamic, uh, anti-foreigners feeling uh, with some kind of um, um, bizarre, fancy uh, politics, yeah, <laughs> which uh, new is kind of very new attractive. kind of nationalists, new kind of nationalists. Yes, exactly, and which that's are very on the rise. And Vucic is ordering them in the television to vote for Kikl and for before Strache and Haider. And that is with the rising population segment of Serbs in Vienna. This is a powerful mix because basically Orban and Putin give the money to Kikl and then uh, uh, Vucic gives the votes to Kikl. And that's okay. one of the reasons we have uh, this party so successful. That's kind of the, the, that's the political uh, situation that you are telling me. Okay. But you also told me that uh, you. You you have an idea to put those people on some kind of tests. Yeah, that's maybe a provocation. I'm a very decent person and I have no power <laughs> anyhow to do that. But I think everybody who lives in prosperity, security, safety and in the welfare system in Austria and in any European country should be basically also learning also and be taught and in ultimately also to appreciate yeah, and that we have this system and we really uh, give these opportunities uh, to millions of people from Eastern Europe uh, and to Russians and to Serbs yeah, and, then and, Ukrainians. You come into, and Ukrainians. Yeah, but the Ukrainians obviously believe in our system. They are not uh, then supporting Putin, yeah, but they are Serbs and Russians in Austria, in the European Union, which then openly side with genocidal aggression and with dictatorship of Putin. And so that's, now, I think, very disgusting. Yeah? Now, really Russia, now, now Russia is also 
uh, from your point of view, a genocidal country? Now, yeah, it's not just my point of view, but it's objectively that Putin is committing genocide in Ukraine since one and a half years, even you will have noticed. No, no, I, I know the the kind of atrocities which were done from Stalin, and, and uh, but now I don't see any kind of genocide. I see the war. I see the both sides getting killed. I see the soldiers from the both sides getting killed. I don't see any kind of genocide. I don't see concentration camps. Absolutely genocidal. No. Putin is kidnapping hundreds and thousands of children from Ukrainian without the Ukrainians consent of are them selling, or their parents. Ukraini Ukrainians are selling hundreds of thousands of their own children. No, that's a it's an yes, absolute that, lie. Yes, no, that, that's not a lie. It's an absolute lie. It's not hundreds lie. of thousands. It's not hundreds of thousands. You just lied. Please. You, you have just no. lied. About kidnapping no, no. children. You have just lied. No, I know your confrontational tactics, yeah, but they don't work with me because, you know, <laughs> oh. you cannot uh, make me unsecure or uh, reconsider no, or want, something like this. No, I don't like want this. to make you, you I know? don't want to make you unsecure. I, I just told you in the beginning. It's simply, you know, we you have know some facts feeling... in the world. I just okay. switch on some lights here. We have okay, some okay. facts in the world. Oh, you have, you have the lights beside, Sorry. beside that uh, tribe flag behind you. No, I need more light because I want to say that you see the flight, uh, the, the flag better. Yeah, 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 okay. You can see the flag now very well because no. it's very important for me in Serbia that you see the Kosovo flag every single day. Okay, but uh, would you be would you be so kind to put it down? No, I put Why? it up. You know, my plan is actually put Serbian come... flag. Put Serbian flag behind you, and you will you you you, you will feel the peace and love and prosperity. Put Serbian flag behind you and all the Serbians from Austria are going to love you. You are not... Thank you very much. I'm very happy. I have the Serbian you, flag you, here. You will actually. be able to come to Serbia. Become a Serbian lobbyist. Not Albanian lobbyist. Uh, that's well lobbyist. paid, you know, because the Albanians pay me nothing, but the Serbs pay a lot of money in Washington to Mr. Krenel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like he's very rich and happy. Because no, no, you Richard, poor people, Richard, you, sir, you poor people in Serbia with your 500 euro salary, you pay then a guy 10,000 euro dollar a month, and he's so happy. And what he that, does? That's, that, that's also a lie. Month. That's also a lie. Mr. Grenell, Mr. Grenell <laughs> is a great friend of Serbia, but but okay, you you do it for ideological. I, I, you do this. You do you do your job for ideology. Okay, well, it's okay. It's it's great. Respect. I'm crazy you, man. If, even if we, because we I not, love the Balkans in NATO and in peace. But that provocation that you said, you know, I, I, I don't think that that was a provocation. I, I think that you have an idea to put some people to test, uh, yeah. just like just like it was done seventy or eighty years ago in Nazi Germany. You know, in mm -hmm. Nazi Germany, they didn't test anybody. They really killed a lot of people. But they and, test you know, to even see when you, they, even when you repeat it 10,000 times, Luther, we Luther, are not Luther. a Nazi country. I'm not a Nazi. You are, are not a Nazi. People. You are yeah. not a and Nazi. We are not nobody. composing any kind of Nazi no. system. We are democracies, market democracies. We are in the EU. We are absolutely rule of law. And unfortunately, no Serbian extremist will be put to any test if he at least uh, not supporting any terrorism or something like this. But yeah. I can, as a free speech person, I can say that it is a very good idea to test you guys because you are unfortunately bringing a lot of genocidal ideas against Muslims, oh Ukrainians, God. Bosnians, Don't Albanians. Oh and then God. your diaspora is staying very extreme. And that's something no. we have to take. No, but who is who is more extreme? You're 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 talking about half a million people and more, even more Austria and Germany. When you when you combine a lot of people from Serbia who are, who are living there, you're you're basically calling them a threat to to your to your to your system. But to you the have, democracy. But you have but you have on daily basis on in Germany. I cannot say in Austria, but in Germany. You have you have you have immigrants raping people, and I, I'm you not guys, seeing you. You guys sent the UTPA. About you are sent the UTPA. Achkan was a paid agent by the UTPA to kill Jurekovic in Germany. Huh? You, you have you? a tradition of 50 years of contract killing by the state organized UTPA mm -hmm. to send your guys like uh, Achkan into Munich, into Cologne. To shoot the people in the but people street, love yeah. to travel. 
<laughs> but you can, you can, you can. You're you a funny can, guy. You know, you but you know, if one Muslim uh, immigrant uh, rapes somebody, that's a crime. Yeah, we have okay. the prosecutor, we have the police, and we will all act accordingly. Because if somebody commits a crime in Austria and in Germany and the EU anywhere. He will be prosecuted. We will find him. We will prosecute him. We will I'm jail not, him. We will punish seeing, him. I'm not seeing that. that That's that, exactly that, what that is do. not happening. That is not happening. That I, is I, happening. I, I saw in Germany that the guys who raped the the, the little girl, they were they, they were put uh, in, in the in the immigration center. They were not put in the jail. Uh, I see that uh, immigrants are causing problems with LGBTQ population in Germany. They're beating up. LGBTQ population in in Germany. Let and that be our problem of our police no, and our judges. No, I, I, I want to I want to bring democracy the to Austria. Of law. You have to understand me. Uh, if, as you want to bring democracy to Balkans, I want to bring democracy to Germany <laughs> and uh, in Austria. <laughs> I have the right. Have already democracy. No, but it's not working. I, I, it's I working can very you. well. I can we help are rich, you. successful, and secure countries. Contrary to you, but, and oh, you want to join us. And we don't want to join you. But we, we how, how can you be rich? Your You're people, working in Germany. Your people, people are working. Your no, people, we, millions of Serbs live in the European Union because they don't like to live at home. Why? Millions of Germans because live you in have USA. Conditions. How many Germans? How, how many Germans are living in USA? How many Germans or Austrians live in Serbia? But they are afraid. <laughs> yes, from that there the is going to be another governmental principle. They are afraid that there is going to be another governmental oh. principle. Let, let, okay. let that poor Let's... guy out of the game. He was a no. very poor, manipulated agent no, really of some extremist uh, guys. Okay. Yeah. He okay. didn't know what he's doing, and the poor guy was dying. Uh, you okay. know, he's a real victim. Right. Yeah. Okay, right wing, right, right, right wing pop, uh, populist. The populist uh, parties are on the rise. I have there in Germany, Austria. Slovakia, Fico is coming back, as I see. Yeah. Uh, Robert He's, Fico. Uh, paid by Orban, a political project of Putin and Orban. I'm very sorry for the Slovaks. Uh, I'm not very sorry. I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I lived in Slovakia uh, uh, some years when I was younger. And That's a nice uh, I, I, I know the opinion of, uh, of Slovaks. And I think that they love Fico. But I also see that you are you're not just you're not just uh, talking about Serbia. You're talking about all the countries in Europe, not all, but you pick a country and you... What is your opinion? So let's come to that. Uh, we have Viktor Orban, who, who is different than the other European Union uh, leaders. We have uh, a little part of uh, the hope that Fico is going to come back uh, to Bratislava. And uh, we have IFD in Germany. We have rise of the populist, as you say, party parties and groups in Austria. Uh, do you think it's? Do, do you think also uh, Holland, Netherlands? Uh, we see in the northern countries that uh, populists are getting more popular. So is that a trend that is going to to overwhelm the euro, or it is going oh, to fall? What do you think? Oh, in no way, you know. This is just temporary blicks because the situation is hard in some countries. But the AfD will be in no way anywhere close to power in Germany. And there will be also not the FPÖ anywhere close to power in Austria. Yeah? If they are very, very lucky, they will get a minority coalition situation again, which they already fucked up twice. Yeah? And it was not successful. I and love when you possible. use that F word. That's great for for me. Sorry, yeah, uh, but it's true. In 2016, <laughs> uh, 2002, and 2006, and in 2018, 19, they with their own kind of scandalous <laughs> corruption, they have blown up. This blown up is a better kind of term. Uh, this coalition, which the Christian Democrats uh, started with them, maybe it's possible this comes again. I don't think so because the experience was very, very troublesome for all mainstream parties to work with the FPÖ. So I don't think anybody will do that again. Yeah? But in generally, it will not change any of the European politics if this party are rising or not. And of course, what's happening is the more land Ukraine is regaining, the more money Putin via Orban is putting into the European political system in order to undermine 
our resolve and our support uh, to win this war that he started and he is waging economically against us. Yeah? So you're, you're, and you're... he put a lot of money, but it will not change anything because we will still win the war. We will sustain our efforts. We will defeat Russia and we will also stay much more united. And Serbia okay. will join us <laughs> and not okay, we, okay. Serbia. <laughs> okay, but, uh, for, and it for will me, be very successful years thing, coming after the defeat uh, of Russia. Okay, w one thing that you have said, uh, and I think it is rare that anybody can hear people from European Union or political, political activists to say, we are in war against Russia. Because... Well, when you when you look at the West Western media, they say Ukraine is in war with Russia, but you just you just said that you are in the war that Austria is in war or the Germany or European Union is in war with Russia. So you really think that? Yes. So absolutely, you, but it's, it's not that we declared war against Russia, but Russia declared war against us economically, no, no. in energy, in the in the system in Ukraine, obviously. So and so Russia if sanctioned somebody European declares Union. war against us, we have, of course, a war situation. And I'm very unhappy with our politicians because they are lying to our people. It is absolutely necessary to say Russia leads a war. We are at war and we have to defend ourselves. Like anybody who is attacked, yeah? it's a very natural okay, situation. Okay, okay, that, and you know, who is fighting is the Ukrainians, you're... but we are all victims of the Russian aggression. But have no doubt in your heart, yeah. And in your mind, we will win okay. this. The same we defeat, uh, defeated the Nazis. We defeated uh, Milosevic. But who defeated Nazis when your grandfather was Nazi? The Americans. We. I'm American in my brain. We are You're American Americans. in your brain. We are all Americans in Europe. How, yeah? How can you? Because are you a we are so-called West. Biden we are the free world. Uh, uh, what, what kind of American? What, what kind of American are you? Are you Biden American or Trump American? It's all the same. It's Because not the same. we are one unit. It's called NATO. It's called the West. It's called the free world. And we defeat our enemies. Milosevic, Stalin, Hitler, Putin. Finish. We will But win. You cannot say that you have defeated Hitler by when your grandparents were in, 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 in that army. How can you defeat yes. your... You But Mario, say that. you in Serbia often think, you know, that I'm the agent of my grandfather. I don't know what kind of mystical kind of link you think, yeah? Genetically, all Germans are the same. I'm the no. ghost of my grandfather. No, it's a voluntary choice. Yeah, I But have decided to be the on the side the of the West, of the free market, of the people of the free world. Yeah, it's my you choice because Serbs, I'm only say... determined by my own Mutter, action. Yeah. Mutter, please, you, you you said that Serbs committed a genocide, and yes. I cannot say I cannot say the Germans. If I say the Germans committed a genocide, that, that, that that's your grandfather who was involved. In. So your grandfather was genocidal, yeah? In he, The system he was serving was genocidal. Yeah, of course, with Nazi Germany was a genocidal regime. And it was uh, lawfully, justfully defeated by the free world. Organized not all by the America Germans, and not the all United the, you, States. You, you, and I, never say, I never say that all Germans are guilty of that kind of atrocities in the Second They World are, War. All Germans who were alive there back then are now dead already. So it would yes, be ridiculous course. to say that all people who live today in the democratic Germany of the European Union and NATO are responsible for genocide 80 years ago. But yeah. of course, there's a collective responsibility for the mm -hmm. past. You have to mm -hmm. take that. Serbia doesn't take it. That's the big mistake of Serbia today. But Germany oh, but and Austria are very aware of our past crimes. I was so often in concentration camps in form of my political activities already to commemorate uh, the terrible losses and the crimes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that is what uh, all Serbian leaders should do every year as well. Go to Srebrenica, go to Ratchak, go to all the places where you have killed so many and then apologize every year. But and okay, then uh, you can join the European Union as well uh, because no, you will be a good European one country. Thing, okay, well, I'm letting you I really, really, really... Uh... I think that I'm the 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 one and only guy from Serbia, Serbian, that will let you and who let you uh, talk, who, who let you talk like like that because I I I, I want to interrupt you. I, I didn't re I really did don't want to interrupt you. Uh, you can you can say whatever whatever you want. You can have any ideas. 
which you which, which you have, but uh, uh, we cannot escape the facts. You have the different facts from me. I, I have totally different facts from you. Uh, on your side, there is a mainstream media. You have the million corporations, the rich corporations, in your in your half, and here Serbians, we are fighting alone. Uh, on the no. political, I, on, on the political view, I'm not talking about wars. Uh, I think that nobody normal, normal person cannot ask for war. Uh, I think the war is. I think that we can agree on that uh, and really think that because I have 35 years and I, I have two wars. I, which I lived through. One was from NATO. And other was we liberated you. And other under you, you okay, then then maybe in the future we will liberate Austria. Thanks. But we same are not occupied, you, we are same, free. Same as you but we people we in were the liberated 90s, in 1945 people, by American people, bombs. People okay, maybe it will happen again. Who knows? No, but because we are now with America. But uh, you we said you're American world. in the head. That's enough for me. When somebody said I'm American in the head. Okay, that's right. I'm talking English. I'm talking English here. I'm not talking Russian. I'm not a fan of Vladimir Putin and how Thank I don't you, know he's man. a god. He is something. I, I'm not in that kind of uh, uh, pictures. Good. Really, really. But I'm not also into uh, uh, Kokainsky. I don't like Zelensky. He's uh, a great hero. Uh, okay, <laughs> that, that is that is your opinion. For me, uh, Putin and and Zelensky are not idols. I, I'm not. I, 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 I look at USA. I'm waiting for the elections in, in in USA, and I think I have an idea what is going to happen. I I think that uh, that uh, the future, when we talk about funding Ukraine, is not good as it as it seems because uh, the population, uh, American population, is not 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 happy too much when they see how much money. They are giving to Ukraine. After we, uh, when we talk about Republicans coming back to power, I don't see any candidate which is promoting funding of Ukraine. Uh, uh, we see that the counteroffensive is not doing very good. It's or or slow. Somebody said it stopped. Somebody said it stopped. Somebody said it's slow. Mark Miley said basically it is going really slow, and uh, I want to hear your opinion because you said we we you are going to defeat Russia. How are you plan? How how do you plan to defeat Russia when when we can anticipate that uh, it's going to be less money and less arms sent to you to Ukraine? First of all. The American president until the end of 2024 is for sure Joe, uh, Joe Biden. If he not, he is a, he is he a dies, strong supporter. The second point dies? is that most likely he will be re-elected as president in 2024. Oh my God! Let's be serious. And Let's there will be, be eight more, uh, six, four more years of Joe Biden. If oh there God. will be a Democratic uh, candidate, yeah, then definitely it will be him. And if the Republicans, I'm supporting, you know, very much for my Twitter feed. I'm supporting Nikki Haley. She is the uh, first Haley, female leader, Haley and she has is very good. And... <laughs> Nikki, Haley, and, Nikki Haley cannot and, win. You can know that Nikki Haley cannot win. Mr. Trump will be in prison more likely than in the White House. Yeah. Maybe so DeSantis. let's wait for that. Yeah. Maybe so maybe secondly, maybe DeSantis. Maybe DeSantis. Who knows? It's a possibility. I like some of his policies. It's a possibility. Yeah. It's uh, but most likely. Because of the big divisions inside the Republican Party, especially on Ukraine, I don't think they will get a majority for the election. And Mr. Biden has proven to be a very successful operator. He passed many laws for the Congress. He has successfully steered the world for COVID and for reconstruction and for the Ukraine war. And he's very successful president. And with all likelihood, he will be in for another four years. Yeah? So he's that's over to America. To the is Ukraine he... counteroffensive, it's mm -hmm. absolutely logical that this is a slow thing. I wished to liberate Mariupol already. <laughs> I'm very sorry that we have not liberated Mariupol, but Melitopol, Mariupol is liberated. And, and Crimea, and it will all be free. <laughs> you will Are see you... by the end of the year, Crimea will be liberated. 
And you Mario, you can invite I... me. Yes, exactly. You I can invite you. me back on the podcast <laughs> and we will celebrate in European Crimea. It will be okay. fantastic. Okay, I have written that. So Crimea, Crimea till the end of the year. Till the end of the year. See you in Sebastopol. Okay, but I, I was, really? okay, okay, okay. That that's a lot of people told. Okay, oh, oh, Ukraine is going to go to Moscow. Then the pro Russians told that uh, Russia is going to go to Danube, and everybody has an ideas. I, I, I can understand. The... I don't see any Russian tanks at the Danube, and they never will be. Okay, because we are so powerful now. We are so oh, technology are so advanced. We are so fiscally advanced. We are economically thirty years ahead of Russia. Russia is a crumbling power and will break apart. I'm okay. actually supporting the dismantlement of Russia. And I, I want be... to see 41 new countries instead of Russia. <laughs> and it will be the best, like Yugoslavia. We will cut it in pieces and it will be much better. And there will be just one little Russia around Moscow that will be like Serbia. And they will be very angrily sitting there around Moscow thinking it was much better when we could exploit the Buratia and the Chechenia and kill some people over there. But it will never be happening again because they will be used to their little rump Russia around Moscow. And so okay. they can do no harm anymore in the world. I don't know what to say. You, 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 can, really, you, can, you can really, you have imagination. We, I we don't did know. it for it, Yugoslavia. We do it again. It? Okay, but the tide is changing. Uh, of course, oh, no. you know, you know, listen, but, uh, Buter, you 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 have you have the right to believe in a lot of things. You you can believe that you are an alien. I don't know. <laughs> but the one thing, one thing that you are doing, and I don't know if you are aware of that. Uh, this kind of 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 talk, this kind of. Uh, not discussion, but uh, your approach to Serbia or Hungary or Slovakia, Russia, this kind of tone, it, it is doing the opposite that you are thinking thinking of. It is it, it, the Serbia, uh, the latest polls shows that the European Union was never so unpopular in Serbia than right now. Right now, that's because of me personally. No, no, no. Base, uh, Alex, you have contributed. <laughs> you have you have contributed to that. Really, trust me. I'm so uh, famous in Serbia. No, no, no. You're you're not famous as uh, as uh, I don't know how as Schultz. Because or... I'm never invited to to the media. You're the only one to invite me. Is there well, nobody? Know, people, people are going to to curse at me to say me Mario. You are you called him to. I, I want to talk, uh, and uh, and I, I don't. I want I, to I, be famous in Serbia. I love. No, Serbia. No, you're famous, but uh, on on Twitter and uh, the Good. people feel feel your your kind of hatred, and they give you back no. that hate. I'm not hating anybody. Okay, you can say I. You, you can say I'm not hating anybody. But you're when we when we talk, you're laughing. Why did the Yugoslavia. people put you're Nazi? Laughing, you're, you're laughing. Why did the Yugoslavia people Nazi assembled? post on me in the street of of Belgrade? What people put a Nazi bastard with my face on the billboards in Belgrade? But people people put your face on T-shirts. No. Yes. But only on Twitter. Nobody's Look, running around. I will send you. I will send you a link, and I think they are selling for hundred euros. Oh, very good. But I don't. I, I, don't, make... I don't. I don't know if you if you would like that kind of pictures. No. The flag just fell. Yes. 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 The Kosovo so-called flag just fell down. I will put no. it up again. No, no, I will no. Put leave it, it up leave again. It, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Don't. Don't bother. Don't bother. We should... No, Gunter, come back. Oh, <laughs> oh! This is great. This is great. Hey, this was. Hey, this was. This is a message from God. <laughs> no, this it's is a message, a message from, from the... God. <laughs> as, as a Christian, as a Christian, this the, the God just sent you a message. Well, Gunter, leave that Kosovo and Metohija alone. And come here to Serbia, rejoin the people, 
Apologize, I will be readily. Apologize, apologize to Serbian people for your insults. I have a diff I'm apologize for all insults because I'm a nice guy. But I will go 5th of October for the day of the revolution uh, to uh, Belgrade Republic Square with the Republic of Kosovo flag and raise it in the middle of Belgrade. You, you know that that's not going to happen. It's <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen, you know. You, this, you know that that's not going to happen. I can do that. Uh, uh, wanna bet? This year or next year? <laughs> we'll be millionaires, uh, yeah. <laughs> After Super Maidan. No, no, no. Uh, Are you going to have a revolution now? Because your people hate Vucic. Uh, why don't no, you no, no. Uh, when we when we talk about when we talk about Vucic and revolution, I I think that the last the last time we said to Vucic and to this uh, government that we don't like them was in year 2020, uh, in July. It's the it's the month when Bia came to my home. Oh uh, yeah, uh, because because we have them demonstrated against China China rules when uh, covid hysteria started yes. lockdowns so we were on the streets and bia and police were working for a month arresting people wow so so uh, nobody likes vucic here but vucic has the media and uh, and i think uh, even if we have different political views and and, and opinions we can agree that vucic is bad Yes, yeah. he's a disaster. And, uh, and, and, uh, but one thing that I, I have to tell you, and I think you should know that even if we don't like Vucic, we love our country. And we were not... I we're love not going, Serbia as well. We are not going to give anybody a piece of chance to, to dismember or dismantle <laughs> our country, even if so the guy... NATO. Even, even, NATO, even, then even, even, safe. even if the guy uh, across me is smiling as you are, but <laughs> I have to I have to tell you that uh, I that, have no uh, means that kind to dismantle of, your country that, anyhow. <laughs> that, 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 that kind of that kind of that kind of talk can only bring uh, conflicts, and I think nobody normal should want should want that. I think that uh, your approach. Do you want war? No, no, no. Nobody are you wants ready the for war. an invasion of Kosovo. What? Are you ready for an invasion of Kosovo? Do you support an invasion no, of no, the no. north of Listen, Kosovo? Uh, I didn't tell you my story. I, I lived in Israel for, for some time. Okay. And uh, respectively, uh, in Israel, uh, not in Palestine, in Israel. And I have learned a lot. And one thing I have learned is that you can get any part of country back to you if you want that, but you have to make some kind of political changes. So for me, the war is out of the questions in, in Balkans. Anybody who is talking about war at Balkans is enemy of Serbia. But there is uh, an economy, economical question that uh, that can resolve that kind of uh, problem. But I'm not going to tell you about my political plans because I don't have any, but uh, I, I have some kind of ideas, but the, the politicians are never going to listen to me. So, so the, uh, Kosovo, proposal, Kosovo, Mario, Kosovo, is... Kosovo and Metokia will be Serbia again, but not, no. not with war, not with war, not with war, Gunter, not with war, okay. not next year, not in ten years, maybe not in fifty, but in hundred, never, in two hundred years, never. Okay, maybe we will we will be transhumanists and going to live three hundred years when we are going to see. I that. have a better proposal, Mario. Okay, uh, you let will me get hear you. the euro. The euro is currency. In the moment you recognize the Republic of Kosovo, and then okay. we make a fast deal. We join both countries into NATO: Kosovo, Bosnia, Serbia, everybody in NATO, very fast. Yeah, within three months, and then we put everybody in the European Union. And you all will live happily, rich and successful and free. And all the politics we can discuss for a beer and rakia. And we will be very successful. You will be fully integrated. And all the Serbs live forever in freedom in the European Union and in NATO. Okay, I have an idea uh, to get Kosovo and Metohia back 
to 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 Serbia and to join BRICS. Oh. <laughs> 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 and you bring like Austria to. BRICS as well. <laughs> In Austria, Austria to join BRICS also. Yeah, very good. You can hey. make a, you come to Austria, you can run for Kickel's party and uh -huh. you will be very happy. He will be interested. Maybe you will be foreign minister in Austria. It's <laughs> okay. possible, Mario. <laughs> Guter, Guter. This is, I, 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 I would really love for me and you next time because this is my first time i do online podcast every time i have people in my studio talking but if there were if in future we have a chance i would like to talk to you maybe here maybe in austria uh, on the personally. 5th of october i come to belgrade you cannot come you cannot come <laughs> people just heard you that you are going to come with that tribe flag with, with you they're not going to let you but I roll it out at the Republic Square. Well, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can roll. You can roll the joint and I will if you say want. Everybody, but... I'm a friend of Mario. You, you, and you are going to be secure, but yes. without the flag, without that flag that <laughs> fell down. That, that flag, that flag just fell down, and God said everything that He needs to say. Uh, uh, I really, I really hope that we we will talk in future, and I will call people. Not to respond respond with hatred, but uh, just to say, uh, really, people from Serbia should really say thank you, Gunter, because you are doing a job instead of us. You are making EU so unpopular here <laughs> that we should pay you. We should basically pay. You. Okay. So, so thank really, me, so really, from from my heart and from the heart from the from uh, uh, the viewers, I suppose. They're going to also say thank you, Gunter, for doing that kind of job for European Union. But also, I'm going to say again, even if we don't have the same opinions, even if we have different, totally different political views, we should, we should, we must, we must talk. Very good. Vucic, I agree Vucic, on a serious Vucic, note. I agree on that. Really, really, really. You need more democracy, more free speech in Serbia. Uh, what do you think that I have? Uh, I really, I really, I really think that uh, that that Serbia, that Serbia, should never follow Chinese communist rules and no. Chinese communist laws. But I see European Union countries who are implementing Chinese laws. No. How no? How in we Austria? Are free you live in Austria. Continent. Do you live in Austria? Yes. Yes. Yeah. During the COVID, it's anyhow well known. During, My address during, is all over the Serb media. <laughs> during the COVID history, during the COVID era, if you can call it like that, Austria brought the law. Am I right that everybody should get vaccinated? Yes, it's a good idea to be vaccinated or to it pay something. Idea. You know, we with Russian never... vaccine. No, with European vaccine, we have the best. Oh, no, I have Sputnik and... vaccine for you. Okay, yes, you put it in yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't put any kind of vaccine. But is that is that democracy? It's democracy because How you know democracy? In democracy you have to pay taxes. If you make a lot of damage, you have to pay something. If you're not vaccinated, you have a lot of costs and then you have to pay more. But it's only about payment, not about punishment. But yeah, but also I, I think that uh, man, Gunter. Let's get if back. you're driving but, the wrong side on the highway, you get also punished. You cannot, punished. you cannot, you cannot say people you have to get vaccinated if they yes, want to. Can. Yeah, you, uh, yes, we can. But also, Hitler said yes, I can. Hitler said yes, I can. I can kill these people Hitler because they are not Aryans. Please, you know that's a little bit of a different history. Let's never forget the crimes of the past, but it's not a really decent way to compare okay, the times you have of your opinion. 345 to now. You because have, you we have, are working you... market democracies. We are good. Hundreds and thousands of Serbs are coming to live in our countries to be good to European citizens. We come to your country successful. to change your countries. No, you We not, have yeah. <laughs> a plan to come to Europe and to Austria and to you take the welcome. government. You are welcome. If you and can to try take the democracy. government to bring democracy to Austria, Serbians, I call the Serbians, <laughs> I call the Serbians from Austria right now to to make a political organization and to democracy make 
a new kind of democracy, the real democracy in Austria. I'm a high desk, I'm a high Austria and Asha Gavrilo Prince. Hey, thank you, thank you really. Next time I want to talk to you on person, person in person. Um, I visit you in your studio when you're in Okay, Vatican. great. When you come, if you can come, if you don't have problems with Bia, Udba, Tia, you, you are welcome here and you will be safe here, but without that flag, which is <laughs> I will have a t-shirt and a cap with Kosovo. Your flag just fell again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> hey. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, it was nice. nice Thank you. Talk. We You're will continue welcome. to we will continue to 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 see each other on, on Twitter and I for European really, Serbia. Join NATO I, I really, and the I really European wish you, Union. I really, and I, I recognize really wish, Kosovo. <laughs> I really wish you happy, happy, happy future and uh, and free Austria, free Austria. Thank you.